Add numbers mentally that include tenths. If we wanted to add 347 to 981, we could try and mentally recreate the way we'd do this sum on paper. So you'd first of all add 7 to 1 in the units column that gives you 8. Then in the tens column you'd add the 4 to the 8 that gives you 12. You'd carry the 1 and then you'd put the 2 into the tens column. And then in the hundreds column you'd add 3 to 9 that gives you 12. And add the 1 on you've carried, gives you 13. So the answer would be, if you're old fashioned you might put a comma in, 1,328. There's another way of doing it. You can do 347 plus 981 and say to yourself, well, what is 300 plus 900? 300 plus 900 uh, is 1,247 plus the 81 you haven't dealt with. And then what you can do is deal with the 8. So you say, what's 1,247 plus 80? Choose a different colour. So you could say that is um, 1,327. And then you've dealt with this 8. And then what you can do is add on the 1. You say 1,327 plus 1 is 1,300 and 28, 1,328. So that's another way that you might like to do this same sum in your head. It takes up more space on the page, although you might be less likely to make a slip because you're not having to carry the one. If you need to do an addition that includes tenths, let's take an example. If we wanted to add 4.7 to 23.2, Again, you can use the method whereby you start um, with the figures in the column worth the least, in this case tenths. Seven tenths plus two tenths is, oh, we don't, we've got none to carry there. So it's just nine tenths in the tenths column. Keep our decimal point in the same place. Units, we've got four plus three, which is seven. And then we've got um, zero, which isn't shown on the 4.7 in the tens column, and two in the tens column on the 23.2. Zero plus two is two, so the answer to this one is 27.9. We could use our other technique, so 4.7 plus 23.2. Well, 4.7 plus 20, let's try and use the same colours, 4.7 plus 20 is 24.7 so we've dealt with the 20 then we need to add on the 3.2 move the page down a bit same sum 24.7 plus 3 gives us 27 we need to remember about our 0 0.2. 27.7 plus 0 0.2, you'd be doing this in your head, is 27.9, which is the same answer as we got when we used our traditional paper technique. So choose either one if you're doing mental calculations, although you might find the one that appears longer on paper is more suitable for you to use when you're doing these calculations in your head.